guys and welcome back to EcoBubble. As you're aware, we've been fitting Give Energy systems for the past three years. Today we're at one of our customers in Somerset who has a split phase system with two Give Energy hybrids. Let's go take a look. So tell us a bit more about this setup then, Brad. Yeah, so we're at the start of the system here. So we've got the incoming mains um, with split phase. We've got a three phase head and we're using two of the phases. Then goes into the smart meter and then to, into the split consumer unit board. So L1 and L2. Um, we've obviously taken our power off each um, fuse board into an AC isolator to turn off easily and then we've got the inverters over in the other room over there. <coughs> and we've also got EPS um, boards here for mm -hmm. power cut situations. Cool. So tell us a bit more about the split phase here. Yep, so this customer actually was um, restricted by single phase. So uh, we paid, or the customer paid to upgrade to split phase where we could um, put a hybrid inverter on each phase. Um, so for DNO purposes, you can only have 3.68 kilowatts mm -hmm. um, before you ask permission. So in this case, we could uh, get more power. Cool. And you mentioned EPS. So what benefit does that give the customer? Yeah. So um, in a power cut situation um, off these inverters, we can um, still power some um, electricity. So um, on L2, we've got gates, etc., and, and outside lights. And again, on L1, we've got lights and sockets, so they can still be on in the power cut situation. Is there any special requirements you have to think about when fitting an EPS? Yes, the, the main one especially is any sort of EPS, like the socket I was explaining, or dedicated boards, or manual changeover switches. You will need um, a separate earth rod, an earth mm -hmm. stake, um, which we have behind the barn here, um, just because technically in, um, in a power cut situation, they could cut the earth, and obviously mm -hmm. you still have live appliances. And I can see he's got a smart meter here as well. Yep, so customers will need a smart meter now for um, any export tariff or, or import tariffs for the, the cheap overnight. Um, so we can sell, ex, uh, sell excess solar from the export tariffs and also, like I said, overnight tariffs for the car charging and you can charge your batteries. So that's the start the setup looked at. Now let's go have a look at the other side where we have the Give Energy batteries and the hybrid inverters. So now the other side of the wall where we have the inverters and batteries. So Brad, can you tell us through what we've got set up here? Yeah, sure. So we come over from the um, ACI say to the other end into a bi-directional generation meter, um, into another ACI isolator, and then we go into the Give Energy um, hybrids. So mm -hmm. this is a Gen 2 hybrid inverter, and this is the 9.5 kilowatt hour battery. So you mentioned these were Gen 2 hybrid inverters. In our previous videos, we've used Gen 1 hybrid inverters. So can you tell us the difference between this one and its predecessor? Yeah, so um, there's a few uh, benefits. One being engineers had trouble with Wi-Fi, where we couldn't hardwire the internet. Now there's a LAN port, so that's a big bonus. Um, DC input, we can now put 7.5 kilowatts per string mm -hmm. um, of DC, another big bonus. And also the charge and discharge rates of the batteries have now been upped. So when I used building installs, we did the 8.2 kilowatt Give Energy batteries and we had a separate DC isolate we had to attach next to it. I can see that these look like they have them built in. Yeah, so they're now all built in, which is, again, a lot easier. Um, another new benefit of the 9.5s is the um, all-in-one cables. Mm -hmm. So now it's a simple plug-in to the battery. Um, and if you have the Gen 2s, it's an all-in-one to ring. Or the new, they actually now have new Gen 3 inverters, which is a plug both ends. And that's making the installations a lot faster and quicker? A lot faster, more, a lot more efficient, and a lot more neater, actually. So when I used to commission these, it was just all we had to do was give the Give Energy office a ring, put the kettle on, and make sure the CT clamp was around the right way. Um, how different is that now? Yeah, a lot different. So um, installers now have, we have our own installer portal where we can do the commissioning ourselves, and obviously Give Energy Tech are on the phone if, if we need them. Um, for the homeowner, they now have two different versions of looking at the system, so they have an app. And, um, and an online portal. The app will like, update every 10 seconds when they're at home. Mm -hmm. So, you know, instant, instant what they're seeing on their house and generation. Um, a lot more benefits of settings for the homeowner. They now have um, 10 different charge times for their off peak, especially these um, different tariffs now with different time slots. And I've noticed you've got a document down here. Can you talk us through what that is and why it's here? Yes, yeah, so as installers, you should um, explain to your customers how to turn the system off safely. Um, at EcoBubble, we've written out a form of how to shut it off and turn it back on safely with all photos. Mm -hmm. It's very easy to do. So how big is the PV array connected to these inverters? Yeah, so on top of the barn, we've got 15 Perlite 425s on the 5 kilowatt and 11 Perlite 425s on the 3.6 kilowatt, mm -hmm. split into two strings on each. 
Um, they then go, they come off the roof into DC isolators, yep. again to safely turn off, and then go into the inverters. When I was fitting panels, we were fitting them around about the size of, sort of 280 watts. How different are they now? Yeah, they're a lot bigger now. Uh, our average installs are around 400 to 430 watt panels. Um, that means obviously they're now bigger in dimensions, mm -hmm. so we need to go out and gather roof measurements and, and choose the right design and fit of the panels. Um, you can now get them in all black, so they're very nice, sleek and aesthetically pleasing on your roof. Mm -hmm. So they've almost doubled in size from 280s up to 495s? Yes, they're, you know, they're getting more and more efficient, more and more bigger outputs. You know, I, I'm sure in the next few years we'll be going up again to sort of five, 600 watts and keep moving upwards. Are you finding that the black panels are the more popular? Are you doing any of the white back panels still? Um, the white back sheet ones are actually technically a bit more efficient, but 99% of customers would like the all black, you know, fit into their roof a lot, a lot more. Given energy have moved a lot in the three years we've been working with them. When we started our voyage, they had about three employees. Yeah, they've grown massively now. They have lots more member of staff on the technical support side for the installers. They're building a big plant in the UK for manufacturing, which is brilliant. Uh, Product-wise, they now have a new Gen 3 hybrid inverter with a curved front. And let's not forget about the new all-in-one system they just bought out. Yes, the new all-in-one is brilliant. It's got 13.5 kilowatts of storage, a big 6 kilowatt charge and discharge rate, and it comes with that lovely gateway for that backup. So instead of having an EPS board, you can have full home backup. What's the technical support like from Give Energy now? So obviously, Give Energy in the last few years have, have grown massively. So, you know, the technical support on the phone for insurers can be a bit of a wait. But they have opened up a Give Energy community forum on social media where you can gather all the information you might need during the commissioning process mm -hmm. or for the handover with the customer. So we're outside now. Um, we can see the panels. Can you talk us through them? Yeah, we've got an on-roof system um, on slate roof tiles. So we've mm -hmm. had to use the correct brackets and, and flash kits for that. Um, We've got, as you can see, we've got the all black panels, which, which is nice and sleek, especially on slate. And we've also equipped it with bird guards all the way around, so we don't have any unwanted friends nesting or causing havoc under the panels. A lot of the energy from the PV system fitted here goes towards powering the stable. So that's things like sockets, lights and the horse dryers. But also, something that uses a lot of electricity around here is the hay gain. And we've got Georgia here, who works on the stables, to tell us a little bit more about that. So Georgia, can you tell us what the hay gain actually does for the horses? So the hay gain has this kind of steamer attached to it and it will steam the hay past 80 degrees. So that steams away all the dust, all the bacteria, which basically just keeps the horses really healthy. Don't get any coughs, um, <laughs> performing their best. Lovely. That's it from us today, guys. It's nice to see how the Give Energy system has evolved over the years. And if you'd like your own Give Energy system, don't forget we cover the Southwest and we do commercial and residential. All of our information is in the link below. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And we'll see you next Bye. time. Bye. <laughs>